Welcome to a video on uh, how to find uh, an equation of a polynomial function given a table of values. First of all, um, a little bit of a note about constant differences and degree. If first differences in the y values are constant, the relationship is linear. If second differences are constant, then it's quadratic. And if third differences are constant, then it's cubic and so on. In other words, if we have a cubic function, the degree is uh, n is 3, and um, the third differences in y will be the same, meaning change in change in change in y values is going to be constant. Next, we should know uh, the relationship between leading, leading coefficient and constant difference. Uh, there is a formula uh, that says the constant difference is um, equal to the leading coefficient a times n, which stands for the degree of polynomial factorial. Um, this formula, unfortunately, only works if the change in x values are 1, meaning the table of values, x values, always go up consistently by just 1. This is not the case in our example, and instead of memorizing a formula, uh, it's best to understand where it comes from to begin with, so we're not going to use this formula for this uh, example. So uh, I will start off by, first of all, writing down that change in x here is actually going up by 2. Uh, this method um, works as long as you are constantly going up by the same amount in, uh, in x values. And then uh, let's do the change in y values as well. So the first one would be negative 88, then negative 304. After that, negative 664, negative 1168, and negative 1816. Notice none of, none of these um, numbers are constantly the same number over and over again. So this relationship of a table is not a linear relationship. So next we're going to do change in change of y. So second difference. Uh, the first number we have negative 216 then negative 360, then uh, negative 504, and negative 648. So once again, these numbers are non-repeating numbers, so this is not a quadratic relationship. So we go on to the next uh, difference, the third difference, or change of change of change of y. Here we get the numbers negative 144, is always constantly the same. So because we did three differences, the degree n is 3. So our polynomial is going to start off by uh, being uh, of this form ax3 plus bx squared plus cx plus d. So if you were relying on formula, you'd actually get the wrong answer here. Constant difference is negative 144 um, equal to a, and uh, the degree is 3 factorial. So 3 factorial just means 3 times 2 times 1, and uh, you'd get a value of a of negative 24. Um, that a value is incorrect, uh, as you shall see in a moment. So instead of using formulas, what we will do is um, set up another table of values. Uh, this time, we're going to use expressions. So x values are as before, so 1, 3, 5, 7. You'll actually see that I, don't, will, I will not need uh, all the x values, just uh, one more than the degree. So if the degree is 3, I just want, I need four uh, expressions here. For the y, um, value, instead of writing down the values that we have here, I'm going to actually plug in the 1 inside the equation here and write down an expression that we would get. So a plus b plus c plus d is uh, the expression we would get if uh, x is 1 plugged in. Then 3 plugged in would be 27 a plus 9 b plus 3 c plus d. So here are the expressions when uh, 5 is plugged in and 7 is plugged in. Next uh, thing we'll do is actually find the change in y. 
Uh, so the change in y between these two expressions, we're going to subtract the bottom expression, subtract top, just like we found this negative 88. We took this uh, second number and subtracted the first. So when you do that, these will cancel, and then you'd have an expression that um, simplifies to 26a and 8b and 2c. Do the same thing with the other differences, and you have the following results. Remember, you're subtracting bottom expression, subtract the top one and subtract like terms. We shall do this for second differences as well. Notice every time we have less uh, entries to record. So we, uh, bottom subtract top here would be uh, 72a plus 8b. And this expression here. And then finally, the change of change of change of y. Um, there's only one entry here. And we only need that one. The other ones would be the same if we were to continue and do more points. So now we're, what we're going to see is uh, the real value for uh, A that we would get. I'm going to relate the um, 48A with um, the third difference number, the constant number, negative 144. And that would create an equation for me that I, I will solve for A. So 40. 8a is equal to negative 144, and solving that we would get negative 3 for the a. Notice it's not quite the same as we got um, using this equation. Recall this equation only worked if the differences in x values were going up by 1. So if you were interested to modify the equation, you can say this is also multiplied by change in x to the power of the degree n. So if you really like to memorize formulas, here is one for you. I would prefer to really understand where things come from instead. So we were relating the third difference column with an expression, with the third difference column, uh, or row in this case, um, the numerical value, and we got um, a solution for the A over here. So we're going to do the same thing with uh, second difference column. So you could take any one of these, uh, first entry or the second entry. If you take the first entry, then you better uh, match it up uh, to be the first entry in the second uh, difference column here and make that as your equation. Uh, let me record it over here. So we should have this expression is equal to the number. We have already our A values, so it's a matter of solving for B. So if you plug in 3 inside here, get negative 2, 16. And B turns out to be 0. Then you do the same thing with uh, first difference column. So you take one of the entries here, I'll take the first entry, and match it up with the first entry uh, of the numerical. And I'll record it over here. And so we have this expression equal to negative 88. Plugging A and B that we know inside and solving for C yields C negative 5. C is negative 5. So we now know the A, the B, and the C of the polynomial. We just are looking for the D. A quick shortcut for D that I can't do on my question, but usually uh, you should just locate the y-intercept in the table of values for this D. So in the table of values, if you notice that there is an entry where x equals 0, then the corresponding y-value would be your D-value or the y-intercept. I do not have that, so I just have to proceed and uh, relate my uh, one of the y-values, whichever one you want, I'll take the first one, and make it equal to the y value that we have here. So this would be um, a plus b plus d is equal to negative 4, and I'll do it over here. Plug in what you know. Solve for d, and make your therefore statement.
So the polynomial equation that is represented by the given table of values is y equals negative 3x cubed minus 5x plus 4. I hope you found this helpful.